guys I'm back to YouTube um, firstly sorry I haven't been around for the past year um, if you don't know I have been busy working on my books I have started up my own business um, so yeah I took a year out to get on with my business and yes the hair is dyed I'm back to wearing black hair um so yeah there has been a lot of changes and if you are wondering where i am i'm in my office my office is finally my workspace that has been the other thing i have been working on for the, the past year there has been so much going on um we won't talk about lockdowns or anything like that so yeah um but having said that we are back zandra sparks is finally back woohoo um, if you didn't know, as I said, I've been working on my books. Um, if you follow me on my Facebook page, I have been working towards a new Facebook page, which is for my author work. Um, I have already pu published two books, um, a poetry book back in September, and I've got a new another book, which is a short, short story that is coming out this Friday. Um, so by the time you all see this video, you will also know about the new book that's coming out if you follow me on my Facebook page. But without further ado, what am I doing today? Um, well, usually I'd be doing makeup and as you can probably tell in the background, I have things prepared for the future. We're coming back. We are doing more videos. I am going to be around a bit more, honest. Um, but yes, today I am actually very honoured by my mum who has actually allowed me to open her Overdale fabrics box. Um, basically I talked to my mum about starting up my YouTube again and she suggested I open this box up, do an unboxing. Um, I'm not going to do the project inside because it involves sewing and as many people know I am hopeless when it comes to sewing. I leave the sewing side to my mum but I thought it'd be fun to do this as like a tri trial run, get back into the swing of YouTube because I cannot remember what I'm doing half the time. So yes, without further ado, let us get started. So first off, uh, Overdale Pearl Fabrics has a monthly subscription box. I believe it is £24 plus £1.99 postage. Bear with me. I shall actually double check that because uh, I was looking earlier. Uh, I did forget. <laughs> I was meant to write it down, okay? You know, I occasionally forget these things. But how is everybody doing? I have missed honestly i have missed doing youtube but with everything in my life at the moment i have been working towards other things and some things have to go to one side but i am back i am back with a vengeance so overdale hill fabrics where are you i should have really left it up on my phone when i was looking <laughs> oops i'm terrible oh well <clears throat> And please excuse me, I haven't, I am fueled on one coffee today, which could be a disaster. I did remember to put makeup on, which is actually for me an amazement. Um, so where are we? We are looking at their monthly subscription box. Come on phone, don't be, be silly, we don't want that today. Uh, right, their monthly fabric club. Right, let's find out more before we get into the box. Right, there, how it works is you... It's ideal for sewing enthusiasts that love crafting and quilting, which my mum does. Um, you receive quality fabric that's ideal for a wide range of projects. This is, this is the most cost effective way to buy quality fabric. Yes, because quality fabric is expensive. Even I raise my hand and go, expensive. Um, the fabrics are carefully chosen to coordinate, saving you time as well as money. Um, there will also be crafting project a crafting project pattern that you can complete and free uh, and a free mystery gift each month. Everybody loves a mystery gift. Um, so yeah, I have never actually opened an Overdale fabrics box. I will fully say that. Um, I I I have, will have fully admit that I am useless at sewing. I can do it. But I know that I also need a sewing machine most of the time and the sewing machines I have are useless. So don't judge me, but safe, safe to say I will not be doing the sewing. That will be my mum's job. Um, but yeah, uh, each box has eight fat quarters or equivalent to other 
pre-cut so basically if there's a particular project and it needs to be pre-cut they do that for you from what I gather in this little blurb on the website um haberdashery supply su supplies uh each month um we will include a different item for the use in a project for use in a project um project pattern and guides unique products thanks for you to enjoy and learn a new skill which is great because if you're someone like me and you want to take up sewing and you want to try but you don't want to spend loads of money this is i would say kind of sounds a good box um so how much is it cost what is the cost the monthly fab fabric club costs 24.99 per month plus 1.99 postage and packaging which actually is not that bad you know i know fabrics alone fat quarters you could be spending you know anywhere from 25 pounds up sometimes um especially if you're looking for quality fabric um you generally they get shipped the first week of a month so you generally get them around the seventh or within that second week um they're always posted first class so they reach you soon after this date so basically after the seventh they'll get to you at asap um so yeah it looks like an interesting box and from their web website i will say their website is very easy to use it's got loads of information um you know so we shall see how the pardon me the box is in itself so as you can see it is very simple to me this says like it comes in a another box that you can easily just post through um you know great if you have a large letterbox um but yeah and now comes the fun of me finding a pair of scissors i know the shock of me being in the office means that i actually for once have scissors Everybody who remembers me from back before when I was doing YouTube may remember that I could never find scissors. So this is how, well, I'll do it that way. This is what the actual box looks like when you actually open it. You have a nice little letter here um, and then you have all the fat quarters and then the patterns in the background. From what my mum told me, this is their Christmas box. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we shall start with the letter and I will show you each individual a little bit. I won't show you all the fabric because I know that can be a nightmare. Um, so yeah. So Overdale Fabrics, welcome to this month's Fabric Club. There's no getting around it. Christmas is coming. As the nights get darker, I always like to have the festive season to look forward to. And it's a great time to do some Christmas crafting. Who doesn't like Christmas craft work? Me. Uh, I actually like it, but I also hate it at the same time. Glitter gets everywhere and glitter blindness does fall into the play. Um, this month's project is a tab table decoration in the shape of a Christmas poinsettia flower. Now, I do like poinsettias. I will say that. Uh, I have chosen luxurious fabrics hooks in traditional colours with gold embossing to create this project. The finished decoration will look great on a dining table, or it could even add uh, could even add colour and seasonal cheer to a sideboard or side table. I have included some fabric chalk pencils in your box on this project. I found them useful to mark out the shape of the poinsettia petals. You'll also find them useful for other projects that need mar marking up, such as stitching lines and patchwork. Uh, the brush can be used to remove light markings. Enjoy the run up to Christmas and remember to make some time for yourself. You deserve it. Happy sewing, Cindy. Cindy, I believe, is actually the owner of Over Overdale Fabrics. And yes, I will honestly say from what I've seen of the website and this, it is very personal. It is very fun. It's got a little bit of energetic rhythm to it. Um, as she said, who you know, the nights are drawing in, it's getting cold and everybody deserves a little bit of time to themselves. So let us start with this box. And as you can see, you can see it on my table. It's so yay. And yes, I'm happy. Yay. Um, so first off, I will apologise. I know nothing when it comes to actual fabric stuff. I probably should have my mother with me to explain what certain things are, but mum's not here. So, uh, 
you can yell at me in the comments. Okay, yell at me in the comments. It's fine. Uh, my mum probably will. So yeah, there's some little bits of fabric here. Um, is that a backing piece? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this a little backing piece? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am. Um, so yeah, we've got some nice little gold, uh, yellowy gold uh, fabric pieces. Um, I'm guessing this is a fabric piece. I may be wrong. Um, you can kill me later, okay? Kill me later. Um, but I'm most interested in the actual main fabric because I see red and glitter and I'm excited. Oh, oh. See, I like fabrics and the patterns. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, so as you can tell, these are actually very nicely folded. Um, they've got the nice Overdale logos. Um, these are 100% cotton. Um, but they are just like that pattern alone. Sorry, I'm just going to move this. I'm not going to take it fully off. Don't kill me, mother. Um, so really nice Christmassy, autumny patterns. And then we have I don't know if you can see that very well. It is all gold stars and white. And oh, it's pretty. It sparkles. And then we have a green and snowflakes. So as much as that looks like black on my actual camera, it's not. It's it's actually dark green. Very dark green. And then we have a really nice red with snowflakes. In fact, if I do it this way, you can see it really nice. Um, it is actually red. It looks a little orange because of the lighting in this room. My lighting is not yet ready for real videos, but we're getting there. Honest, we will eventually get there. So that is really pretty and there's quite they're quite well folded. And I would say you get a large square for these for the project. And so it's quite a bit of fabric. So there's four pieces on that one. And then we have another collection of what I'm going to term fat quarters, but are they, aren't they? Fabric collections. So we have this gorgeous paisley red and it's almost like the red has these like deeper reds in them as well. Like the backing fabric has these deeper reds, which is really quite nice. It kind of makes it move a bit. Um, and then we have some a white again with stars. And this one kind of has silver stars as well. And some really nice like I want to turn veining. It's like snowflakes coming down and it's like the drop effect when you have uh, a string in the window kind of thing. And then we have this really nice red snowflakes, which is like the other one. Um, in there. In there. Um, yeah, so you've got another fat quarter of that, but this one seems to not have the silver snowflakes which you know that's okay it's a different it's similar but it's different it's nice and then the next one oh we have a green with trees which i think should be this way but it's really pretty i i really like that fabric can i have that fabric can i just have this fabric can i just like have this fabric like for the curtain in my dining room i know i'm terrible i love fabric i like fabric don't do anything with it like fabric useless when it comes to actually sewing but i like fabric i may have a slight addiction to things and these are also 100 percent cotton so yeah and they feel really good quality they've got like this thickness to them even though they're like folded over when you find it like an edge like here um this is actually very it's quite thick cotton you can feel it it's thick but it's not like tacky uh, which is nice you know it's uh yeah. it's not really tacky the word I'm looking for it's thick it doesn't feel like you could easily um tear it it's one that you really do need scissors for um oh Miller Millward even <laughs> I can't read anymore whoops um so these are Millward chalk pencils and you get two you get a white and a blue and I will apologize if the light would be so kind you can see all the wires in the reflection i am so sorry um but yeah these are wood and plastic and they do have a little brush which is quite nice so you can dust off the chalk markings and yeah i like the fact that you get white and blue which will stand out very well with the fabric's color 
Um, so yeah, and then, oh, wow, lots of pieces of paper. Yay. Lots of pieces of paper. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, you get a step-by-step -step guide. So you have the pattern. You also, I'll show you the other bits, but this is the actual design. Um, and it's very much, you get the step-by-step -step guide and in pictures, um, which is really nice and very easy to follow. So basically you cut out the templates, you cut out your pieces of fabric, you then stitch two pieces together, then fold them outwards. So you get the pattern piece, so you fold very nicely. Then you have the centerpiece, which goes in and then you just work on the back and we're nice i like it i can understand that i can understand it just about don't ask me to do it i can't do it so then you have like the actual pieces so you have the leaf and the back circle which is really nice you know you can easily cut them out um, and then, of course, you can save them for other projects. And then you have the petal and centre circle, which is for the front, um, the front centre. And, of course, then you have poinsettia uh, sewing instructions for Overdale fabrics. Um, and it explains in the box what you get. Um, basically, extra supplies supplied in your box. Two chalk pencils to use when drawing around your templates. Two small pieces of golden yellow fabric. A small piece of, of bonder web for the centre and back backing of the flower. So, uh, yeah, bonder web. Basically, it's like, um, if memory serves me right and correct me if I'm wrong, bonder web is like a sticky fabric that once ironed on, you kind of end up being able to stick things and then sew it. Sew it. Um, if memory serves me right from what I've, what I've learned and paid attention to, I fully admit, I am useless. Um, so yeah, I am. Um, I I correct me if I'm wrong. You can at me. I fully admit I don't know when it comes to sewing. Okay, um, but yeah, it. I like the fact that not only do you have a picture instructions, but you get it as a written instruction. Um, so you basically. Um, seeming allowance, all are a fourth, one fourth inch. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't do measurements. I can, but I useless. Um, cutting, trace the pe petal and leaf shapes onto a piece of card. Both of these shapes are not symmetrical, so mark them front and back, as you may need to cut both sides. Uh, as, as you will need to cut both sides. Yeah, you will need to cut both front and back. Um, photo one, basically template. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it, I like the fact, yeah, wow. There's a lot in a box. Um, that's actually, actually, considering this is my first unboxing and I'm like, wow. Um, I like the fact that there's the instructions are quite in depth. Um, I like the fact that you get some really nice fabrics. I do like the fact that you get some pencils. I will not break the lead, otherwise my my mum may kill me. Um, you know, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's quite. I would say for me, I'm probably a chicken when it comes to doing sewing. Um, but I think if someone wanted to start doing things like quilting and um, fabric crafts, but they didn't want to buy like loads of fabric and loads of equipment, this is probably the best way of doing it. And the thing is with this, you can easily do it like um, as maybe as a beginner that knows what they're doing, but also just wants to experiment like they've done sewing before but they want to experiment and do something a bit more learn learn a bit more with that skill then yes this box i would recommend as a beginner it may be a little bit over your head possibly but the fact that there's loads of instructions i would say you can easily follow the instructions and work out what you need to do with the instructions 
and then you know build on that um i do i do really like this box this box looks really amazing i will admit i've seen other boxes of overdale fabrics that my mum has done in fact i my mum very kindly donated fabric to make me a cushion um for my office um and, and it has is actually overdale fabrics both, both sides um so yeah um but yeah i i i like it i like it a lot would highly recommend it um i will put the link uh the link in the description for Overdale Fabrics. I am not affiliated, however, I will give Cindy a message. Um, hi Cindy, um, if you watch this. Um, so yeah, I am I am very much like, wow, this does look a very interesting box. I would love to see the poinsettia when my mum makes it, if my mum makes the poinsettia. Um, but yeah, it will be interesting to see what the actual finished project looks like. And I know you get an image of it on the actual instructions but i will say it's a fantastic box would highly recommend for people who are interested in sewing um and just want to do something that's fun um an evening project an afternoon project when you've got five minutes free and you just want to do something you could probably easily like cut out the templates one day make notes of where you've got to do and then just get on with it um yeah fun would highly recommend it so without further ado i'm going to love you guys leave you guys and the next video will be at some point next week which will be one of the two boxes that are behind me and i shall love you guys leave you guys and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel make sure that you follow me on facebook instagram and twitter i am starting to use my instagram and twitter more again and i shall be posting up on my Hey, blog the witch's boudoir there is a lot going on and i am back honest i am back <laughs> so i shall love you guys leave you guys and see you all soon